which has sparked controversy at every stop of its round-the-world track, and security was extra tight as the relay traveled to South America. By comparison, though, today's run through the streets of Argentina's capital was relatively calm. But as Eric Sorensen tells us, the decision today not to cancel the Tibet leg of the relay has just made the road to Beijing bumpier. The image of the Olympic spirit 2008. Police, heavy security, and somewhere inside that bus, the torch. Today in Buenos Aires, just as in other cities of the world, the torch is spending more time being protected than promoted. The torch relay was supposed to be a public relations beacon for the Beijing Olympics. Instead, it's a flashpoint over China's human rights record, particularly in Tibet. Even the IOC has irritated the Chinese, suggesting the games were awarded to Beijing to bring attention to social issues there. That awarding the games to China would advance the social agenda of China, including human rights. The Chinese bristled at the Olympic Committee's emphasis on politics. We hope that the IOC officials can eliminate the disruptions and stick to the clearly stated principles in the Olympic Charter. One by one, world leaders are discovering scheduling conflicts. The UN Secretary General saying he won't be going to Beijing's opening ceremonies. The optics for China not enhanced by the phalanx of track-suited security, reportedly members of Chinese police units used to crack down in places like Tibet. Japan and Australia have both said they will not employ the Chinese guards when the torch arrives in their countries. The Dalai Lama, today in Seattle, yesterday in Japan, has capitalized on the world's attention to press China for greater freedoms in Tibet. Nobody has the right to say, shut up. Meantime, in what could be an effort to smooth things with the host Chinese, the IOC announced today it endorses China's plan to have the torch relay jog through Tibet. What kind of reaction that could trigger is something Vancouver Olympic organizers are making sure won't be an issue for the 2010 Games. We've never contemplated having an international relay. And no doubt not having second thoughts about it either. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Washington. He's a prince.